Now, the European Union signed a trade agreement on Monday, that's with Kenya, giving the nation duty and quota-free access to the bloc. A long-negotiated deal, it says, is open for other East African countries to join in. And the EU is currently Kenya's premier export destination and its second-largest trading partner, with trade totaling 3.3 billion euros in 2022, a 27% increase since 2018. Now, Steve Ogutu, development communications expert, joins me virtually from Nairobi, Kenya, to unpack this. Good afternoon, Steve. It's good to have you on the show. Steve, good afternoon. Can you unmute your mic, Steve? No, I'm unmuted. Okay, great. Now, Steve, from what we understand, this economic partnership agreement has been under discussion for at least a decade now. How significant is the expected impact of this deal on Kenya's economy? Well, this, this has been described by various experts as an ambitious initiative to position, to continue positioning Kenya as an economic powerhouse in the region, if not in the continent. And what this means is that, you know, um, Kenya is, is, is open now to uh, 27 EU countries, you know, uh, Kenyan products are now can now be exported to these 27 EU countries. But not just that, I think what's unique about this um, agreement is that uh, farm produce, you know, which are, uh, you know, stuff like coffee, tea, uh, fruits and vegetables, which are one of the key uh, exports from Kenya, um, will receive, um, you know, uh, duty-free access uh, into the EU markets. And this uh, is going to be a big boost to smallholder far farmers uh, here in Kenya, but not just that, um, also strengthen the manufacturing industry, uh, create, um, you know, employment opportunities and things like that. Uh, but most importantly, also improve the livelihoods of, of, of the struggling uh, smallholder farmers here. So yes, it's a really, it's a huge um, boost to, to the Kenyan economy. Well, that's good to know. But the new EPA, that's the Economic Partnership Agreement, is expected to expand opportunities for Kenyan businesses and exporters by fully, um, you know, giving them the opening the EU market for Kenyan products. Would you consider the timing right at the point when African leaders are looking to strengthen the Africa Free Trade Continental Agreement? Yeah, I would say that the African Free Trade Continental Agreement is, is a brilliant idea. Um, I think there seem to be, just from the news item that I, I was watching uh, that you were running, there seem to be some teething problems or some bottlenecks here and there around uh, certain barriers like uh, uh, movements, you know, vis we need, you know, visa-free uh, movement and things like that. So we have so much that we still need to sort out uh, as the African countries. Um, if you look at it, I mean, the, oper the operationalization of uh, the, the African free trade uh, continental area started in 2021, and very few countries, including Kenya, are committed to that process, which is in the pilot basis. And so I think it's also important to understand that most of these countries have their own internal development priorities, and therefore um, it, 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 it just makes sense. I think for the step that Kenya has taken to 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 expand um, its its, um, its 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 network by reaching out to other partners like the EU uh, to help it meet its development priorities by this uh, ambitious um, agreement that was signed on, on the June nineteenth. But if it took Kenya about a decade, let's say, to clinch this deal, how easy would it be for other East African countries that, that the EU has said are open to join, to join so easily? How easy would it be for them to join the trade agreement? Um, that's a good point. You see, in 2014, when uh, this conversation started, you know, um, Kenya and I think Rwanda, if I'm not wrong, um, ratified this agreement, but other countries within the East African region were a bit hesitant. And so it's taken us a while. And I think during this process also, Kenya's position, uh, Kenya's economic position was uh, was a bit, was killed up. Now we are categorized as, as a middle income country. 
whereas the rest of the countries within the region are still uh, least developed uh, countries. So meaning that our trading uh, structure with other partners across the world, like the EU, has to, has to change. You know, for, for countries like uh, other countries that um, are, le are categorized as least developed, um, can still trade with other countries within the EU market without needing such uh, arrangement as the EP EP EPA. But I think from the president, from President uh, Ruto's speech um, during the, the signing of this agreement, he made it clear that he's still going to reach out to his his, his peers within the region uh, to ensure that they take advantage of this opportunity uh, to to drive their economic agenda. What bottlenecks do you see um, stopping this plan, this EPA, from fully manifesting in Kenya? I think the next bottleneck would be uh, the, the, the parliament, because this agreement after signing has to go through parliament, both the EU and the Kenyan parliament, to, to, be, to be tabled there, I think, in the coming weeks, discuss. So we hope that um, it's going to pass that process. So um, that that is the 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 the, the 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 that is the you know the bottleneck that I can foresee uh, uh, for now. But of course, um, uh, it's also going to need certain policies um, that's going to guide uh, its implementation from there. And so it, it's a wait and see. But I think there is commitment from the top leadership of this country, and I believe the top leadership of EU from the remarks we had during the signing of this uh, agreement. Uh, so we hope uh, for the best. Thanks so much, uh, Steve Ogutu, Development Communication Analyst from Nairobi, Kenya, for sharing your perspective on this uh, subject matter. Thank you for having me and having me.